take the time to assess your strength and perceive your potential. Then, with that vision of yourself in mind, pursue your future as if that potential, that shining star in front of you, was as real and as tangible as the diploma that you will receive today. If you focus your efforts on that and doggedly track down your future, you will astound yourself and others. I have also seen these graduates become star athletes, actors, good friends, great citizens, and world travelers. These students have accomplished much, and their future is bright. As they began their high school careers, the tragedy of September 11th unraveled in front of their eyes. They end their high school careers today much more aware than other generations of the frailty of life and the instability in the world. They go today into a world filled with contradictions, a world where we value life but support the death penalty, a world where we campaign for peace and wage war at the same time. Despite this world full of conflict, I am confident that the graduates of this class are equipped to sort out the panoply of information in our world and bring meaning into their lives. When I think about their promising futures in this troubled world, I am reminded of a quote from Oliver Wendell Holmes. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Graduates, I look at each of you and see the truly awe-inspiring potential within each of you. You represent not only the future for your families and friends, but also the future for our community, our state, and our nation. Fear not what you see now or what you may see in the future, but instead, go into this world determined to fulfill the potential that lies within each of you. Today's graduates have had the benefit of learning from a truly amazing faculty, a faculty that cares deeply for each of them and has instilled in them both the thirst for knowledge and a love of learning. These teachers have dedicated to their lives to educating our young adults. Today is the culmination of their best wishes come true for all members of the graduating class of 2005. There is no more satisfying moment for a teacher than to watch their students find success in life as these graduates find today. These graduates have also had the benefit of a supportive, caring community that has helped them to grow into adults. They have had help from all of you, their parents and family, who have given them an understanding of our world, a sense of how important family is in all our lives, and the ability to know right from wrong. As they take these values out into the world, they will represent our community well. For the good work all of you have done to raise these young adults will reflect back upon all of us for many years to come. Graduates, as you go on to become happy, healthy, contributing members of our community, I wish you well in all that you do. May your years be filled with joy and contentment and may you live to fulfill your potential in everything that you do. Good luck and congratulations to the class of 2005. <laughs> we will now have an honor essay by our salutatorian
each of us. To some, it has been the place where we were legally bound to be from 7.45 in the morning until 2 p.m. For others, it has been a place to meet and spend time with friends. To still others, it has been the place where we excelled academically, artistically, and athletically. I'm sure, though, that we can all agree that high school represented a stepping stone from which we, as graduates, can now go on to the next step in our lives, whether that be college, the military, or the beginning of a career. And whether we look back on the four years we spent at Marchwood as the best or the worst years of our lives, I'm sure we will always recognize that our high school experience has been a mixture of the two. Just as throughout high school, we have all experienced good and bad things, we will continue to do so throughout life. So as we leave here today, finally and officially high school graduates, I ask you to remember the good memories. The late nights out with friends roaming around Portsmouth. The birthday party. The paper you stayed up until 3 in the morning to write and still got a B. Prom, pep rallies, talent shows. And especially remember all of the friends and family members who supported you throughout high school. Let's not forget to remember the hardworking teachers. Remember the teachers that inspired you and the funny teachers who made it easier to stay awake in class. Remember the science teacher who continually readjusted his pants every 30 seconds. <laughs> the English teacher who looked like he was stretching for a race during his lectures. The language teacher we all enjoyed leading on tangents in order to miss taking quizzes. And the history teacher who told us all of his hunting and fishing stories every morning. <laughs> While it is important to remember the good times we have all shared, it is also important not to forget the bad. It is through times of adversity that we learn the most and ultimately become stronger, better people. Remember the teacher who you hated during the school year, only to realize years later that you probably learned the most from that, more from that person than from any other teacher you've ever had. Remember the loved one's walk the hurt experience that ultimately taught you what you most value in your life. Remember the illnesses that pushed you to greater heights getting all your work made up, or perhaps taught you that sometimes you just can't accomplish everything. In life, as in high school, we will all experience adversity. Let's not forget the life lessons we've learned through hard times in high school. Let us learn from our mistakes, and when life does get hard, never give up. Congratulations, class of 2005, and good luck. I'll miss you guys. We'll now have our presentation of the class gift by Rachel Flinkham. <laughs> For the past four years, I have served as president of the class of 2005. Although at times a difficult task, the job was never considered a chore. With help from our class officers, advisors, and fellow classmates, it has become an enjoyable assignment. Whether it be a selling cookie dough or making cotton candy at the strawberry festival, a majority of the graduates have contributed in some way to the success of our class. As we drift away from our days here at Marshwood and our individual contributions are no longer necessary, we would like to come together in order to leave our mark here as a class. To do so, we have put the money we have raised this year towards a woven panel that hangs in the lobby. To the class of 2005, our contributions here are no longer necessary. Have you, as you advance on in your life, don't let your charity fade. Continue leaving footprints on whatever path it is you choose to take. Congratulations and good luck in all your future endeavors.
now have the Director's Book Award by Mrs. Helene Cass. Good evening. I have the distinct pleasure of serving as chair of your school board, made up of five other citizens, Ellen Bree, Bill Gilbert, Sue Puller, Martha Lee, and Ralph Stevens. I also this evening have the distinct honor and pleasure of presenting the Marshwood High School 2005 Director Book Award. These awards are presented in each of 10 academic disciplines. The recipients are chosen by faculty members in each discipline because they have each exhibited a sincere love of, interest in, and passion for the subject area. I will begin in the academic discipline of English. The name of the book is The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara King Solver. And the recipient is Jenny Crozier. <laughs> the next is in social studies. The book is Guns, Germs, and Steel, The Face of Human Society by Jared Diamond. And the recipient is Erin Child. <laughs> the next is in mathematics, the art of the internet by Robert and Ellen Kaplan, and the recipient is Christine Holmes. In the area of science, the book is If Dogs Could Talk. Exploring the Canine Mind by Vilmis Kasani and the Sanders Comprehensive Veterinary Dictionary. And the recipient is Sarah DiStefano. Languages, a collection of Pablo Neruda's bilingual poetry book, and the recipient is Alex Lager. <laughs> the next is in the area of fine art, in the gardens of impressionism, by Claire Wilson. And the recipient is Katrina Marshall. There you go. Get that book. <laughs> In the area of family and consumer sciences, Kyra Kyra by Cynthia Tadohata and Kitten's First Full Moon by Kevin Hanke. And the recipient is Catherine Clary. In the area of career technical, the art of dressing long hair. And the recipient is Jasmine Smith. Finally, in the area of music, the artist as citizen by Joseph W. Polisi and America's Queen, The Life of Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. 
by Sarah Bradford. The recipient is Courtney Sullivan. Congratulations to the graduates of 2005. And remember, wherever life takes you, don't forget the path back to South Burr and Elliot. We're going to change the order a little bit. So our next speaker will be our honor essayist, our valedictorian, Dan Kent. Achieve your goals and a few other things as well. 
all the while remaining fair and ethical. I implore you in your determination to be a rock and not to roll. Thank you. We will now have the conferring of the diplomas. The light gone. <laughs> Catherine Gail Cleary. <laughs> Trevor Parker Humphrey. <laughs> Jesse Jane Foster. Mackenzie Ray Crafter. Duncan Ellsworth Bigelow. Jay Niven Damon. Joshua Aaron Backlet. Jonathan James Theroy. Gary Thomas Young. Lynn Marie McKean. <laughs> Athena Hanson. Elizabeth Cooper. Kirsten Heather Bird. Renee Eisenhower. <laughs> Noah Jane Lemire. <laughs> Travis D. Longstaff. <laughs> Dwayne Brennan. <laughs> David Pierce. Stephen Blanchard Vaughn. April Christine Cummings. Daniel Oliver King. Ayla Ann Seven. <laughs> Lindsay Elizabeth Vieira. Deanna Ryan Rick. Sarah Marie Collette. Nathan Webster. Jane McDaniel. <laughs> Renee Collins. <laughs> Brett 
Patricia. <laughs> Becky Little. Rebecca Willette. Nicole Katrina Jackson. <laughs> Megan Penn. <laughs> Kaylee Clyburn. <laughs> David Dubay. <laughs> Kelsey Dean. Katie Marie Corbett. <laughs> Molly Elizabeth Nichols. <laughs> Ashley Kristen Jardine. <laughs> Todd Stephen Hodgson. Matthew Thomas Law. Jason Chapley. Jacob Smith. Mary Wilson Conley. <laughs> Jennifer Marie Youngblood. Amanda Lynn Thompson. <laughs> Melissa Gabrielle Drewer. <laughs> Darren Michael Allen. Amy F. Wiedemann. <laughs> Katie Vegan. <laughs> Heather Ashley Cody. <laughs> Libby Ann Blanchett. Connie Lissa Collins. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth McFarland. <laughs> Ashley Lynn Emery. <laughs> Tony Reyes. <laughs> Katie Goodwin. Amy Louise Villado. Villado. <laughs> Jessica Lee Bossy. <laughs> Margo Pierce. <laughs> Carrie Anna McGowan. Doc Rancor. <laughs> Denise Vittoria Florence Bogiano. <laughs> Dean Scott Dagan.
Chad Michael Kohler.
Adam Robert Bates. Joseph Neil Moynihan. Andrew Scott Ferber. Ross John Duggan. Ashley Jean Dupont. Andrew Fortunato. <laughs> Max Hartree. Christopher Gray. Jason Lazar. Daniel Wright. Eric Dickford, Nicholas Munyon, <laughs> Tiffany Leanne Allen, Stuart Scalvey, <laughs> Stephanie Acer. Karen Shaw. <laughs> Katrina Marie Marshall. <laughs> Denny Crozer. <laughs> Bartley Michael Kelleher. Bree Nicole Fabler. <laughs> Trevor Hasty. <laughs> Christopher Danola. <laughs> Gregory George <laughs> Joseph Dewan. <laughs> Jasmine Lee Smith. Richard Harrison Crayon. Jessica Caitlin Aylinger. Jessica Lynn Trudell. Alice Mary Winslow Bertano Baker. <laughs> Nolan McLean Strong. <laughs> Rosemary Ann Eager. <laughs> Scott Patrick Kalani. <laughs> Christine Elizabeth Holmes. Greta May Lieber. Ian Anderson. Zachary Brown. Elliot Jackson. Jesse Melanson. 
Anthony J. Carter. DJ Miller. Adam Young. Kurt Metcalf. Brian Borowski. Amos Mulcahy. Brianna May Gilford. Courtney Elizabeth Sullivan. Brianne Marie White. Evan Andrew Flynn. Molly Schremer. Evan Elizabeth Stiles. Adam Camarado. Benjamin Scott Pettigrew. Benjamin! Laura Reed. Danielle Verabee. David. Thomas Matthew Grant. Caitlin Elizabeth Brown. Amy Kirkley Pastor. Jeremy Patrick Peck. Sullivan. Lucy Catherine Demers. Kristen Heather Dusan. <laughs> Elaine Francis Tiffany Broker. Tyler Richard Cooper. Stephen William Gordon. Matthew Joseph Zachary. Chad Butterfield. Eric Sterling Mills. Elizabeth Harding. Karina E. Martinez. Daniel Richard Lynch. <laughs> Ian Flynn. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth McGarry. <laughs> William Ian Nyland. <laughs> Patrick M. D. Kimball. <laughs> John Michael Donovan Mills. <laughs> Kevin Matthew Burns. Aaron May Langley. Amanda Howard.
staff, faculty, and students. I now confer that you have met the requirements of graduation of Marshall High School. You may turn your tassel. We're going to have just one more speaker in our farewell by Evan Glenn and Stephen Gorton. Saturday school, clock days that would never end. It was the age of wisdom, college applications, training for tests, and writing papers on books that we still had in the red. It was the age of foolishness, donuts in the parking lot, swimming in the Mediterranean in April, getting our first speeding ticket, or second, or third, or perhaps getting stopped on the side of 236 for going 88 in the 55. It was the epic of belief, rallying behind the beloved teachers and standing up for what we believe. It was the epic of incredulity, watching two towers fall on our first weeks of high school, watching the football team turn years of losses into wins. It was the season of life, the summer days at the beach, the weekends at camp, and working ridiculous summer jobs for extra money, even if that means emptying subject tanks and motorhomes for minimum wage. It was the season of darkness, the winter months, midterm, snow days, callous basketball fans shielded by newspapers. It was the spring of hope, frisbee on the field, eating lunch outside, March Madness, and maybe letting the grades drop just a little bit. There was a time of despair, deciding on colleges, leaving friends, leaving memories, moving on. We have everything before us, opportunity, time, knowledge, and the tools to build a future. We have nothing before us, an empty slate and a fresh start to do with which we please. To the class of 2005, Dive into the world head on. Stay true to yourself and have no regrets. But take with you the memories, the lessons learned, and the friends you'll never forget. And always look back fondly at your time that Marshall has. It's been real. Peace.